Peace be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you. Welcome to the house of worship. And so we are ready to unleash your blessings. In today's session, we are going to be learning about scriptures, observation and understanding about all about life's lessons on how to use your blessing to the fullest. So this is where we begin with a gospel song called The House of Miracles. In the name 
name of Jesus come alive in the name of Jesus. This is the house we Like I said, we must also listen to what the people have got by just hearing this song. So at the beginning of the video, he is walking with his kids. They hold on to his legs. And to know that your dad can carry you. Because just as you know, your dad is so strong. It made me think about how much faith we have in our earthly fathers and how much more should we have on our heavenly father. Amen. I took my kids to church, not going for like three weeks because I was super sick. And they were playing this song. I don't think they were paying attention. And sure enough, they were. Today, I picked them up from school. And they were like, Mom, please play that song that says, Come Alive in the name of Jesus. The next one says, Oh, Brandon, 
This song grabbed my heart of my seven-year-old grandson. And as he played it over and over for weeks now, he is now reaching his 21-year-old, his sister who had turned away from God at the age of nine when her dad was murdered. My house has become a house of miracles. My family is coming to Jesus. Thank you for the most blessed, powerful, Holy Spirit filled song. Thank you, Jesus. Reach every home on earth that needs healing and salvation. Every home that longs for hope and miracle. I would definitely love to read more, but it's time to read the reading from the book of the Second Chronicles, Chapter 6. When Solomon dedicated this prayer, he reigned for almost 40 years. And this prayer of dedication also teaches us how can we talk to God in prayer. So this is a reading from the book of Chronicles chapter 6. First Chronicles chapter 6. Then Solomon said, The Lord has said, He has chosen to dwell in the thick darkness. I have built you a magnificent temple, O Lord, a dwelling place which you may reside forever. Then the king turned around and blessed the entire assembly of Israelites as they stood before him. He said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has filled with his hand what he promised with his mouth to my father David. When he said, From the day I brought my people out of the land, I had not chosen a city from any of the tribes of Israel in which to have built a temple to honor my name. Nor did I choose any man to be the ruler over my people Israel. However, now I have chosen Jerusalem, where I shall be honored, and I have chosen David to rule my people Israel. My father David was determined to build a temple to honor the Lord God of Israel. However, the Lord said to him, In wishing to build a temple in my honor, you did well. But nevertheless, you shall not build the temple. Rather, your son, who shall be born to you, shall be the one who will build the temple in my name. Now the Lord has fulfilled that he made. For I have succeeded my father David and taken his place on the throne of Israel, as the Lord foretold. In addition, I have built the temple to honor the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. There I have installed the ark containing the covenant of the Lord that he made with his people Israel. Then in the presence of the whole assembly of Israel, Solomon stood before 
the altar of the Lord and spread out his hands. Solomon had made a bronze platform measuring five cubits long, five cubits wide, and three cubits high, which he directed to be placed in the center of the courtyard, and he stood on it. Then he knelt down in the presence of the whole assembly of Israel, spread out his hands towards heaven. Lord God of Israel, he said, there is no God like you in heaven or on earth. As you keep your covenant and show steadfast love to your servant who walk with you with all your heart, you have kept the promise you made to my father David. Indeed, what you have promised him with your words, you have fulfilled by your deeds. And now, Lord God of Israel, keep the promise you made to your servant David, my father, when you said you shall never fail to have a successor to sit in my presence on the throne of Israel, provided that your sons are careful to keep their ways and confirm to my law, as you yourself have done. Therefore, Lord God of Israel, let this promise be confirmed which you promised to your servant David. And yet, will God indeed dwell with the people on earth? If the heavens and even the highest heavens cannot contain you, how much less this temple which I have built? Look with kindness on your servant, pray and his plea. O oh Lord, my God, healing and the prayer of your servant makes before you. May your eyes be forever on this house, day and night, the place where you decreed that you would establish your name. Listen to the prayer your servant offers in your presence. Also hear the supplication of your servant and of your people Israel. When they direct towards this place, listen from your heavenly dwelling. And when you hear us, grant us forgiveness. When anyone sins against his neighbor, and is required to take an oath, and he comes forth and swears before your altar in this temple, then listen from heaven and take necessary action. Judge your servants, requiting guilty persons and holding him responsible for his conduct but absolving the innocent person and rewarding him in accordance with his righteousness. Should your people Israel sin against you and as a result be defeated by an enemy, but then return to you and confess your name and pray and plead to you in this temple. Listen to them and forgive the sin of your people Israel and bring them back to the land that you gave them 
and their ancestors. When the heavens are shut and there is no rain, because your people have sinned against you. But then they pray towards this place. Praise your name and detest from sin because you have afflicted them. Listen to their pleas in heaven and forgive the sin of your servant and of your people Israel. Show them the path of righteousness along which they should walk and send down the rain upon your land which you have given to your people as inheritance. Should there be famine afflicting the land or plague or blight or mildew or locusts or caterpillars or should enemies besiege your people in any of their cities or should plague or any sickness befall on them then mercifully listen to the prayer or supplication of everyone among your people Israel each one knowing his own suffering and his own sorrows stretching out his hands towards this temple. Listen from heaven, your heavenly place, your dwelling, as you grant forgiveness and deal with each man according to your deeds, since you alone know what is in each person's heart. As a result, the people will fear you and walk in your ways throughout all the days that they live in the land that you gave to our ancestors. Likewise, when foreigners who do not belong to your people Israel come from distant land because of your great name and your mighty hand and your outstretched arm and they approach and pray in your temple listen from heaven your dwelling place and grant whatever they ask of you in order that all the people of the earth may acknowledge your name and fear you as do the people Israel and that they may know that this house which I have built bears your name. If your people go forth to engage in war against their enemies wherever you choose to send them and they pray to you facing towards this city that you have chosen, towards this house that I have built in honor of your name. Then listen from heaven to their prayer and supplication and defend their cause. When your people sin against you, for there is no one who does not sin, and in your anger against them, you deliver them into the power of the enemy, who will carry them away captive to a land far or near, and then later on, if they come to their senses, in the land to which they have taken as captives and they repent in treating you in the land of their captivity as they say we have sinned and done wrong we have acted wickedly and they repent with all their heart and soul in the land of their captivity to which they have been taken and they pray turning toward the land 
which you gave to their ancestors. Toward the city you have chosen and the temple that I have built in honor of your name. Then from your heaven, your dwelling place, hear their prayer and please. Uphold their cause and forgive your people who have sinned against you. Now, my Lord, let your eyes be open and your ears be attentive to offer the prayer, offer to the place. Now, rise up, O Lord, and go to your resting place, you and the ark of your might. Let your priests, Lord God, be clothed with your salvation and let your faithful ones rejoice in your goodness O oh Lord do not reject your anointed one remember the faithful love of your servant David this is how Solomon dedicated his whole heart, his whole mind, his whole soul into prayer. So much so he just honored the word that his father said that I will not be able to build the temple but Solomon you will. And Solomon takes this word and he prays back to God and God answered and if we pray and dedicate our heart our mind our soul don't you think we will be living in this house of worship and like Solomon reigned for 40 years may we reign for much more so i dedicate this prayer this time to the house of worship so that we all can unleash the blessings upon our lives upon our house upon our people upon our city upon our country and the world like it is said let thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven amen amen and amen as for me i would love to read the prayer of dedication day and night, day and night, day and night, until I know that, yes, this prayer is now inscribed in my heart. And my house is not just a house that is going to be shaken. And no, it can definitely be a house of worship. Like we've been singing in the gospel song, The House of Miracles. It will be filled with signs, wonders, and miracles. So let's go in for the blessing. May God be gracious to you and bless you and make his face shine upon you. That his ways may be made upon the earth, his salvation amongst all nations. May the people praise you, O Lord. May all the people praise you. Then the land will yield its harvest. Lord our God will bless us. God will bless us. And the nations shall hear his name. Amen, 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 amen. And victory in the name of Jesus. One.